trying to figure out why this car is basically all over the road whenever you go over imperfections in the road, go over a bridge, bump, uh, stuff like that. So we're going to go on a little test drive now and see what they're talking about. Now the vehicle basically tracks straight, the steering wheel's off, but that is not an issue. Um, what we're looking at is the imperfections. I mean, when you hit an imperfection in the road, like this rut right here, it kind of just pulls you in. Um, and the vehicle in general is all over the place. Now this vehicle is air ride, so it's gonna do that. It's gonna have that soft, cloud-like ride, um, but this one, oh, it's just all over the place. And whenever you have that kind of concern, you gotta look real close at anything that may be, you know, loose, coming apart. Um, uh, but in general, you wanna look at the shocks and the springs uh, more than anything. All right, so here's some imperfections up here, some hills, uh, stuff like that. And it's just an overall, sense of you don't have much control of the vehicle okay it's just how it is because the vehicle's all over the place you're kind of getting thrown around a little bit um, and it's just not solid and planted to the road so we'll go to the shop and we'll check this one out and see what's going on now with a concern like this before you ever go underneath and you start looking at different things the very first thing you want to do is a jounce test okay now, this one feels like it's off side to side on here. So we'll go to the Jones test on each corner of the vehicle. We know it's mainly in the front, so we'll do it up here and we'll check it out, okay? So what you wanna do is put your weight into it and bounce it up and down a couple of times, get the bounce going and then let off. And you're gonna watch, it shouldn't rebound more than one and a half times. So this side is very stiff. It stops it right away, it dampens it. We're gonna check this side over here. Do the same exact test. This one, look at that. Same exact test. And see how it keeps on going and going and going like that? And this side has failed, no question about it. And that's where we're getting the abnormal back and forth motion um, where one side's hard and responding and the other side when the body rolls that way, it's just all over the place. So, that all makes sense. Now it's time for the visual inspection underneath. So I finished the Jones test on the rear corners and they're just fine. Visual check of the shocks, just fine. Airbags holding air. So up front here, we get the front jacked up so we can do a good visual of the suspension. See what's going on. It's obviously a shock that is not doing its job anymore. Um, so we'll inspect this side real quick. I mean, you just, I mean, it's not that hard. There should be no moisture of any kind from the shock or strut at all. And you can see this one's been is big time blown out, which makes sense. So the coil has gone up and down, up and down, and the shock is dead. It's not helping stop the rebound or control it. So let's look down below here, and you can get another visual. I mean, it's been going on for a while. Look at that. That's all from the shock. Part of the strut there. You see it? So it's very obvious, and it just goes to show uh, what a jounce test and a visual can do. At this point, you know that strut is done for, and you can just make sure the rest of the suspension components are not loose or worn or coming apart. Uh, there's a couple things I noticed down here right away. There's no cotter pins. None there or steering, right? Yeah, over here. Ah, uh, there we go. There's nothing in there either. That's when you get some cotter pins in there, but they're all pretty tight. It's just uh, that shock. It's done for. And what's really weird is these were supposedly changed two, three years ago, along with the bags in the rear. Nothing <laughs> looks like it's been changed at all. Uh, so I don't know what happened in the past here, but we're gonna fix it and fix it right Over here on the left front you can see this is how it should look nice and dry a little rust little dust and That's it. No residue at all Now what you want to do is lift this boot up 
and look inside of there at the shaft to see if there's you know a bunch of oil up in there that's in there that just hasn't seeped out yet. Um, but a light coating of oil on that shaft is okay. In general, they should be dry though. So this side passes, the other side fails horribly and that make, totally makes sense. Now luckily for this customer, they still make the right front but not the left front. So we need the right front, we can get this thing back up in the running order. All right, how's that for a quick short and to the point video? Now the whole reason for this video was to show what a Jones test looks like and what a failed shock or strut looks like. And I think this vehicle perfectly illustrates it because it's so out of control. I mean, this one's just beyond blown out. Um, but it shows what the difference can be from corner to corner of the vehicle. Now, shock or strut, it doesn't matter. The whole reason for them is to control the out of control rebounding and oscillations of your springs after they go over a bump and they can they compress and they come back out. They'll just keep kind of doing the same thing over and over again. And the whole point of the shock or strut is to keep it in check, okay? And get dampen that ride going down the road. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it helped you fix your Ford yourself. I'll catch you next time, guys.